All right, bitch boys, it's uh, it's fucking onion time. You know what time it is. It's onion time. Um, so I'm going to read you a poem from Vislava Samborska's... Uh, you can't really see it, but it's Vislava Samborska's poems, new and collected. Uh, do not be afraid. The, the poem is about onions. Um, so I used to think that uh, poetry was basically bad. Um, this sort of, like, I thought it was this sort of, like, elitist art, somewhere between music and books... Why would you do that to yourself? And, you know, poems are for uh, contemplating once upon a midnight dreary. And, um, you know, I just really had a warped idea about what poems were. And uh, Vislava Samborska, the uh, Nobel Prize winning Polish poet, really, really fixed that for me. This is one of the, poet, the poets that really made me love poetry. And she made me love poetry because she was not afraid to write poems about really dumb and normal things. Um, you know, like, I had read some, some classical poetry and I could sort of understand why it was good, but Wisława Samborska's poetry was um, visceral and ridiculous in a way that other poems weren't. You know, like, I really like Dolce et Decorum Est uh, because it said some things that I liked. Uh, I sort of experienced things through that poem that I didn't know that I could. Um, but, but Vislava writes poems about, like, soup, you know, and I don't know, I think soup is better, like, really, why are we writing poems about World War One when there's still, still poems about soup to be written? Um, so anyway, this poem is called The Onion. Uh, I think if you, like me, have a mistaken idea about what poetry is like, uh, this will set you straight. Um, it's translated from Polish, so it's a little clunky in some places, and that makes it so much better. The onion. Now that's something else. Its innards do not exist. Nothing but pure onionhood fills this devout onionist. Oniony on the inside, as onionesque as it appears. It follows its own dominion. Without our human tears. Our skin is just a cover-up for the land where none dare go, the internal inferno, the anathema of anatomy. In an onion, there is only onion. From its top to its toe, onionanimous, monomania, unanimous, can't read that one, onomanudity. I really don't know how they translated the made-up words, at peace, of a peace, internally at rest. Inside it, there's a smaller one, of undiminished worth. And that second one holds a third, and that third contains a fourth. A centripetal fugue, polyphony compressed. Nature's roundest tummy, its greatest success story. The onion drapes itself in its own aerials of glory. We have veins, nerves, fat, secretions, secret sections. Not for us such idiotic, onionoid perfections. And that's Vislava Samborska's poem, The Onion. Uh, the best poem ever written. Um, honestly, I don't think I have a whole lot else to say about this poem. If you heard it and you don't think that... You know, like, not only is this poem... The best poem ever written. I really don't think we have to write poetry after that. Like, I think... I think poetry might be over. <laughs>